Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and uh, today is the 25th of March, and it is the Feast of the Annunciation. Yes, I also b believe it's uh, it's uh, Greek. Is it Greek uh, Independence Day? I believe. I don't know, but I do know it's the Feast of the Assumption or the Ass <laughs> Assumption, the Annunciation. Yes, it is, and. The troparium for today. Today is the beginning of our salvation, the revelation of the eternal mystery. The Son of God becomes the Son of the Virgin, as Gabriel announces the coming of grace. Together with him, let us cry to the Theotokos, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. And of course, we'll hear the uh, story of the Annunciation in today's Gospel. And to give us that gospel, there's Robin. Good morning to you. Good morning. And I, I, I decided I'm not going to blame, I'm not going to blame uh, Christina for our rainy, cold weather this morning. I'm going to put that on your shoulders. Thank you so much for this inclement weather. Oh, uh, it's getting old. <laughs> okay. So I see Andrew is here with us this morning from uh, Poland, and uh, yeah, he's taking a driver's test. That's the practical driver's test yeah. at the end of this month, the 31st at 12 p.m. So, Lord, we pray that uh, you give him the strength to stay focused. We pray that you help him along, Lord, once to get that driver's license. And, of course, we pray for his wife also, that she comes home in faith to you. We pray for that. And let me see here. There's Pablo. Pablo Acosta. Good morning, Pablo. And uh, once again, thank you for a contribution to our food pantry link. Thank you so much. Well, um, my friend, what do you say you start us out in scriptures this morning? And we'll hear all about the Annunciation. Absolutely. We've got Hebrews 2. 11 through 18, and then we go to Luke for that, and it's chapter 1, 24 through 38. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For he both who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will sing to you. And I will sing praise to you. And again, and I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Inasmuch that as children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed, he does not give aid to the angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest, in all things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. And we move to the page just slipped. Luke 1, 24 through 38. Now after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he has looked on me to take away my reproach among people. 
Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. You are blessed among all among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And he will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for the incarnation. Well, let me see. Let's say hello to everybody. And we have Barb Anderson. Good morning. Blessed feast. She wishes us all. Deborah Goodall. Good morning, Deb. Maria Fenton. Good morning. Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. A blessed feast day to us all. Amen. And there's Joyce Marie, created me a clean heart, oh God, amen. Pablo Acosta, good morning. And once again, thank you for your contribution to uh, our food program here at uh, St. Michael's. And uh, in fact, this morning we have a food distribution, our food pantry today. So, thank you. Andrew, good morning. Over there in Poland, praying for you. Pass that driver's test. Lord, help him. And Amber Tremaine, good morning. Arthur Bethea, Fadville, North Carolina, good morning. Praying for you, St. Nicholas Parish, and Father Andrew, yes. Violetta, good morning, Stephen, everyone, good morning. Earl and Vicki over there at uh, St. Ignatius Parish in Franklin, Tennessee. Good morning, Earl and Vicki. And I hear they've had some bad weather in Tupelo, Mississippi. That's where Martha and Jimmy are, uh, Vicki's parents. So we pray that all is well there. And, uh, oh, Callie Henderson just showed up. And Callie, she says, good morning. Please pray for everyone affected by the tornado in Mississippi. I just mentioned that. Tupelo, yes. So, Lord, we pray for all of those who were affected by that uh, tornado yesterday and last night in, uh, in Mississippi. Lord, we pray that you have mercy on them. Limit the damage as much as, and we pray, dear Lord, that, uh, Oh, you see them through this tragedy. We pray for that. And Mary Mary's Market over there in uh, uh, Spring Valley. Spring Valley. It's uh, St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois. Good morning to you. Juliet Sabunia, Boston, Massachusetts. Good morning. Good morning. So, you know, I, I, I complain about a little rain, but, you know, we, we have it pretty good here. We don't have any, we're going to have some high winds today, maybe around 50 miles an hour later on today. But that's the extent of our really bad weather, except when a big snowstorm comes in, and that's rare. So, But down south, down, for example, down in Mississippi with that uh, tornado, we're lucky up here. We're lucky. Thank you, Lord, for the Finger Lakes. There's Katarina Salas. Blessed feast day. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Katerina. Pray for you and your mom. Lord, give them strength and guidance and healings. Amen. 
There's Gary Ballard. Good morning, my dear prayer family. Good morning to you, Gary, and you're all yours. Six kids and Stefania. Yeah, Mary and your your mom. Yep, it's out there. And so, uh, Robin, uh, would you lead us in our morning prayers? Absolutely. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter in the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities. For thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, and shall I like him, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos. Have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am, neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, to praise thine all-holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down, before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds. Light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, 
and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love towards mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son and thine all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. And every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly and the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day, and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will, teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. Thank you. Now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift up his face upon you and be merciful. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and uh, give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And I forgot. Uh, actually, I didn't forget. I, I skipped by it and didn't see it. Arthur Bethea asks us to pray for a healing for little Avery. So, Lord, we pray for that child, that you heal that child, bring them back to good health. We pray for that. We pray, dear Lord, that you comfort and uh, console his family, that you... Uh, that you uh, Relieve their anxieties. We pray for that, Lord. Amen. And let me see. Over here. Okay, I think we've said good morning to everyone. And let me see here. You know, occasionally. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, just a second here. No, not going to cooperate. Oh, maybe. Yeah. All right. So, um, as I said, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we have our food distribution this morning and the liturgy this morning. And our prayer list will go on the altar. And Father, uh, Father Gregory is going to offer up 
our prayers and intentions to the Lord from the altar. So there we go. That's today. So, Robin, I want to thank you. We'll see you all again this evening for the Gospel Minute Live. Kurt will be with us. And we continue to plow through third kingdoms. Amen. And, um, Robin, there are two things that, that we should always remember in our lives. Number oh, I forgot. Help me. But first, God loves us. He truly, truly, truly does. And we love each other. We love you. We really, really, really do. And as Gary Ballard, good morning, Gary, would say, really do. We really do. Thank you so much, and we'll see you all again tonight for the Gospel Minute Live. Thank you, and have a great day, and stay safe. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto God.